my little monkey put on their pajama. You got pajama on today? Julian likes science. And he loved, you know, when they're reading, he loved books. Every afternoon, he'd take a book home. I want to make a bridge. You want to make a bridge? My daughter, she is three. She is always laughing and, and smiling and, you know, being a regular, normal kid. Look what I have. Did you see the big light? Can you put your finger on it? Makes it red. Oh, isn't that lovely? Yeah, it's good like that. One of the most attractive characteristics of Help Me Grow is that it is elegant in its simplicity. Good job. Can you help me line up the blocks? It's kind of like opening a door to a bunch of different programs that could meet the needs of, of you and your family. Ben. The Help Me Grow system was founded on the assumption that children at risk for developmental and behavioral problems were escaping early detection and that despite the best efforts of many there was an inability or a failure to link these children and their families to community-based programs and services that could really make a difference. So with that assumption in mind Help Me Grow evolved into a system with four core components critically important in replicating the system. The first involved the training of child health providers in the process of developmental surveillance and screening. The second involved networking breakfast as a strategy to promote linkages among and across community-based programs and services. The third core component of Help Me Grow is the single portal of entry to programs and services, which in Connecticut is represented by Child Development InfoLine. And then fourth, we committed from the outset to gathering data about the programs and services, gathering data about the effectiveness of linkage to programs and services, and use that data to inform our advocacy at the local, regional, and state levels. In addition to the core components, the Help Me Grow system has three structural requirements. The first is an organizing entity that involves the creation of a leadership team. The second is a strategy for statewide expansion over time. And the third requirement is the development of a CQI plan, continuous quality improvement. All the components and all the structural requirements combine to make a successful Help Me Grow system. One of the most remarkable aspects of Connecticut's Help Me Grow program is that it represents the blending of administrative and financial resources of four state agencies and United Way. The state benefits, the state is investing funds in community-based programs, we're maximizing the use of those funds, we're helping families find those services. And because of this, it's remarkably cost-effective. Blue. Help me grow is a program that allows me to do my job as a pediatrician caring for families better, more simply, and fairly quickly. Our experience in Connecticut since 2002 has been that around 85 percent of children and their families who are referred to Help Me Grow are successfully linked to programs and services. There are many, many reasons why this approach focus on children who are at risk, Ta -da! <laughs> identifying children when they have developmental and behavioral concerns as opposed to full-blown diagnosable problems is preferable. I was nervous. I was really concerned about my son's situation because, you know, it was hard to understand him, and he used to get anger. Norma, monkey jumping on the bed. You're doing great. Father. It's all about detection at a young age and linkage of children and their families to community-based programs and services that already exist. While we know that all the components are extremely important for creating the Help Me Grow system, perhaps at the heart of the model is that centralized call center, that single point of entry. Child Development Info Line, this is Dee. 
Oh, hi, Dee. Um, I'm calling because um, my daycare provider asked me to give uh, you a call for some help. Okay. And how old is your child? Um, my child is three. Child Development Infoline is a specialized call center within United Way of Connecticut's 211 uh, Health and Human Service Information and Referrals Program. Has the child care program ever talked to you about the Early Childhood Consultation Partnership? It's easy for people to remember one number and instead of having to look up dozens and dozens of places and trying to find the right service for a family's particular needs. And you said you were in Bristol? Mm -hmm. It addresses any kind of parenting concern, question about health development behavior, and um, if you have a concern about your child's development or behavior, we will assist you with finding appropriate resources in the community to help with managing that issue. A lot of our families are very intimidated by systems, and I feel like Help Me Grow really debunks the system mentality because they're going to get on the phone and they're going to talk to somebody who has a certain level of sensitivity and understanding about what their needs might be and they're going to take the time to listen to what their needs might be. Um, and it really empowers families to then be able to not be so afraid to, to get some information and you know the next time around. There's only so much I have time to do. I'm using Help Me Grow as a care coordinator because I can use them and their repository of all the programs in the area to function a lot more effectively without having a paid person as part of the group doing care coordination. Well, you can give mom a big hug. Thank you. At the Hartford Foundation, we found it really important that this project was the melding of our concerns about how the professional community works with parents on helping raise the children of Hartford. And that Help Me Grow really uses the everyday observations of parents and takes that information and makes them an important part of what the pediatrician or other service provider does with a particular child. Good job getting the book. Good job. All right. Can your child go and take the book? One of the things that's exciting about the Help Me Grow system is that it helps families to be their children's first observers. I'm calling because we did receive um, the Ages and Stages questionnaire that you filled out. By using a tool called the Ages and Stages Questionnaires, the Help Me Grow Call Center will send this questionnaire to families on a regular schedule. And parents can complete this in their home. I like to fill out the Ages and Stages because um, they had different activities that you do with the kids. What are these? Toys. Help me a lot as a parent. I used to notice things that I didn't even know. Oh my god, nice. They loved it. They, they used to love it, all the activities that they used to do. Once they've completed the questionnaires, they then send the questionnaires back to the Help Me Grow call center. The questionnaires are scored. If there are concerns, then they will link the families to the necessary resources. Another part of this is that sometimes pediatricians will refer families, so the results also are cycled back to the pediatricians. <music>old was really when we saw they're not where they're supposed to be and we wouldn't have known that had we not been every three months doing these questionnaires. I've called the Help Me Grow line probably about five or six different times. My name is Kate. Kate not only helped us with completing the Ages and Stages questionnaires but she also helped us with finding educational advocates and she helped us with locating different preschools. And then she even mailed me everything that she told me about. It was a huge relief for me and for my husband. I'm, I'm so glad that we learned as soon as we did. When we act on the early warning signs of problems, then it's like, yeah, of course, it's so simple. We should do that all the time. Or we can do nothing, allow these problems to escalate, and then have them reap their deleterious effects through our educational system, our behavioral health system, or even our juvenile justice system. Good morning. We all go to different um, professional trainings throughout the year. There are Help Me Grow networking breakfasts, the Help Me Grow community liaisons organize those. Okay, welcome. And my name is Luz Rivera with the Children's Trust Fund. And I am so grateful that you're here today to listen to some of our um, presenters and our different topics. Our staff host 42 breakfasts every year. At the breakfast, a range of people from the community come together. It's promoting crawling. To think about 
how do we best identify and track concerns with our children. They learn about child development and strategies to enhance their own work with children and families, and they learn about and share resources that they're aware of back to the call line. So it's really an opportunity to network and connect with others. So when they do go back to their day-to-day -day work, they know who is their next door family resource center or they know who is their next door early child care provider. Going to the networking breakfast is critical to me being able to be effective um, as a practitioner because I'm not only dealing with the mental health issues of a family, I'm dealing with their basic needs. We're housed at Families in Crisis and we're a home visiting program for first time parents. There's a lot of legwork that now I don't necessarily have to do because I've come to a forum where a great deal of information is provided to me. The National Technical Assistance Center consists of a small staff Here back on her contract information, we have and a group of consultants who have experience and considerable expertise in each of the core components of Help Me Grow and the operating principles of Help Me Grow. This project is a dream project for our community foundation. It enabled us to both demonstrate a really important need being met in a community, then being able to work with our partners, the Children's Medical Center and St. Francis Hospital, to join with the Children's Trust Fund to then go statewide, and now with the support of the Kellogg Foundation to make this a national model. We know that the concept is right in Connecticut, and we also know that it's right for every state in the country. Through our experience with the National Center, we have learned to appreciate the uniqueness that each state brings to the model. We're not looking for a cookie cutter approach. We really embrace the fact that states are going to teach us new things, but we also realize that fidelity to the model is an extremely important piece of success for the Help Me Grow system. And that's one of the programs out of the Children's Trust Fund. We have several, one of which today we're going to be sharing with with you, which is the Help Me Grow program. People who commit their lives to promoting children's optimal development are really good people. And the opportunity to think creatively and collaboratively with them in a number of different states, in any number of different venues, has been probably the most enjoyable experience of my professional life. It's been so inspiring to see how generous people have been with their time and their effort and their thinking. And this isn't about ownership. You know, I think we want to make a special effort with the, our newest sites. I think it's about sustainability. For me, what has ultimately enabled that is the unifying vision. Everybody involved with Help Me Grow has the same vision. A society in which children have the opportunity to develop as optimally as possible.